Hi, everyone. It's a pretty stressful time right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. So I just wanted to give you six tips for helping you get through this tough time uh, to help your mental health. This comes from acceptance and commitment therapy, by the way. One thing is remember that you are more than all the stuff that you're experiencing. We get a sense sometimes of just being stuck and all the problems going on and this is going on and that's going on. We have to remember this is one point in history, in our history, one point uh, of all the things we have to deal with. And don't forget, you're so much more than the crisis you're dealing with right now as far as different roles you play, different interests you have. So try to remember there's a bigger sense to who you are. Another thing is to pay attention to your thoughts. It's so easy to get lost in the thoughts like, when am I gonna get through this? What if I run out of food? Now there may be times you need to think, you need to plan, but if that's going on constantly, that just gets you upset and it doesn't accomplish anything. So you can think of your thoughts like movies. You know, when you get lost in the movie, you get all the emotions, but if you can just kind of step back and see that movie, can be a little less caught up in it and just recognize, oh, there go my thoughts again, worrying about food or whatever it is. Maybe you need to do something, maybe not, but you don't have to fight with yourself, your own thinking in that way. Uh, the third one is acceptance. And what that means is work on allowing yourself to have feelings. My goodness, this is a global pandemic. Of course you feel stress. Of course you feel anxiety. Watch out for fighting yourself, getting anxious about your anxiety and stressed about your stress. Recognize, okay, this is what my body is doing right now, so it makes sense that I'm feeling this way. The fourth thing is to be more in touch with the present moment. In other words, come to your senses. Um, when you're watching the news constantly, when you're worrying constantly, you're way off in your head and other times in other places. And again, there are times you may need to do that, but for the times you're feeling overwhelmed, just ask yourself, what do I see right in front of me? What am I hearing? What do I smell or taste or feel in my body? You can only sense something in the present moment. Everything else is a thought or a memory. So allow your senses to just ground you, take a deep breath, look around you, and just, you're in this moment. So whatever else is gonna happen, you can practice being in this moment right now. Even if you need to plan in this moment, that's okay, but you can practice returning your senses back to right now. The fifth thing is to consider what are your big picture values? It's so uh, easy to get caught up in this crisis, of course, but don't forget what matters to you. What are the big picture things? Maybe you've been so busy up to now, you haven't had time to think about that or consider that. What really matters to you, your family, spirituality, learning, being in nature, whatever it might be, take some time to get in touch with that. So remember, whatever else is going on, if you remember the big things that matter, it's easier to deal with the smaller things or even the harder things, as long as you're in touch with that bigger thing to you that's important. And then the sixth thing is to take steps toward what matters, even in the middle of this pandemic or whatever else is going on. In other words, if, if family is important, instead of spending all your time worrying, can you just play with your kids for 15 minutes? Surely they would appreciate that. Uh, or if learning is important to you, just slow down and read a book. Even if your thoughts keep going back to stuff you gotta worry about, that's okay. Practice returning your attention to just the thing you're doing and take small, small steps. So if you keep all of that in mind, we'll take it one day at a time and we'll all get through this together.